What do you do if you get lost? Find a big black guy. You find a big black guy, and what do you tell him? And that guy does. Oh, do I need to tell you there's a bunch of white people really upset about that video? Statistically, based on the data, any child would be safer approaching a strange black man than they would a strange white man. So let's look at some numbers. Convictions of possessing images of children. White people, 86%, while black make up only four. I'd say white people damn near cornered the market. And as long as we're talking fun facts, let's look at this one. They looked at SA convictions from 2006 to 2017, and you know what they found? There was a 1,330.47% increase in sentences of black individuals and a 86 decrease in sentences for white individuals. So white people, far more likely to do it, also more likely to receive a lenient sentence for it. What do you do if you get lost? Find a big black guy. You find a big black guy, and what do you tell him? And that guy does. <laughs> this story is getting a lot of reaction from our viewers and on social media. Many people wanting to know more about this case and why the LAPD has not made an arrest yet. Yes, I'm admitting I know it was wrong and it was illegal. I'm admitting that. And I'm sorry. When actor Ed Gale was captured on camera, admitting to sexting a 14-year-old boy, allegedly with the intention to meet for sex. Why would you turn everything sexual, Ed? Because this is a whole hookup in the making. Some of his former fans weren't the least bit surprised. Honestly, I was just happy to see him get caught. Jonathan, a New York resident, was a minor when he first saw the 1988 horror movie Child's Play. <laughs> Ed Gale was the actor playing Chucky. It got really weird, and I was put in a situation where I didn't know what to do because this this horror character that I grew up loving is now trying to hit on me. Jonathan says he was just a fan of Gale's work, but through a social media account, he says the actor began pressuring him for a sexual relationship. Then he started to uh, call me his baby boy, and um, he would say how... Uh, he wanted to be uh, my daddy and stuff like that. It was simply too much for Jonathan, who was just a teen. He stopped communicating with the actor, and he set up an Instagram account to warn other Chucky fans. How many other victims do you have in it? I'm going to say 10. 10 kids that you talk sexually online. I guess, yeah. When the child activist group known as the Creep Catching Unit confronted Gale during a sting operation, he simply wouldn't stop incriminating himself. Did you try to solicit child pornography from him? I tried to get him a naked picture from him, yes. The activists say Gail thought he had been communicating with a teen boy, but it turned out to be a decoy from the CC unit. We talked about spanking. With all this information coming from Gail himself, you may be wondering why he hasn't been arrested. Find a big black guy. You find a big black guy, and what do you tell him? Oh, do I need to tell you there's a bunch of white people really upset about that video? Statistically, based on the data, any child would be safer approaching a strange black man than they would a strange white man. So let's look at some numbers. Convictions of possessing images of children. White people, 86%, while black make up only four. I'd say white people damn near cornered the market. And as long as we're talking fun facts, let's look at this one. They looked at SA convictions from 2006 to 2017, and you know what they found? There was a 1,330.47% increase in sentences of black individuals and a 8.6 decrease in sentences for white individuals. So